G'day guys, welcome back to the Devon Tugan Investing Channel. In this video, we're going to be having a look at some of the news that Corsair Gaming just updated its investors, where they gave us some news about their third quarter financial results and their outlook headed into 2021, or to the end of 2021. So guys, uh, make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be keeping you updated with everything Corsair and some other investments as well. So let's get right into the news. So Andy Paul, Chief Executive Officer of Corsair, commented, we continue to see 2021 as a strong growth year over the exceptional results from 2020 and building on the acceleration of gamers and streamers buying gear for the first time or upgrading faster than in the past. We are several years ahead of our growth expectations before our IPO in 2020 and we believe that this is setting a new base for us to grow on. So far, good news. But if we get to this next bit here, it says, despite this backdrop of growth, we believe that our 2021 net revenue has been held back by at least 10% by, go by global logistics and supply chain issues, especially by the lack of affordable GPUs in the retail channel. After a slow start to third quarter of 2021, we have seen a return to more typical seasonal ordering with September being the strongest month in the quarter. So what we're seeing here is overall 2021 is going to be a strong growth year and it's going to be building on the exceptional results from 2020. But as we all know, this probably shouldn't come as a surprise that the global supply chain and logistics and shipping costs and getting GPUs and all those sort of things right now, it's all messed up. And it's not just for Corsair. It's for pretty much any any company that sells physical products, any, any company that sells hardware-based products, just like Corsair, they're all facing these same issues. So where, when the company comes out and they downgrade like this, or come out with bad news. This isn't the company's fault. This is uh, this is this is happening to everyone. So if we dig in a little deeper, it says that they're being held by at least ten percent. So ten percent as a minimum. So and, and they and they're blaming it on the lack of affordable GPUs in a retail channel. Now, this makes sense because if you can't, if there's no GPUs available for. Uh, people building PCs, people are just going to put off buying Corsair products because you're not going to go buy Corsair products and then not have a GPU for your new PC. You're just going to wait. And this sort of thing also, um, it, it correlates quite closely to another company that I'm following and they're a semiconductor, sorry, they're, they're a uh, DRAM uh, semiconductor manufacturer and they're, they're called Micron and they recently came out with similar sort of things saying that the uh, GPUs, the, the lack of affordable GPUs is actually affecting uh, DRAM as well because businesses aren't buying DRAM because they can't get their hands on GPUs right now. So I don't think the uh, management is you know trying to mislead us with any of this. So if we uh, move move on, we can see as a result, the third quarter ended, so this is Q3, we expect net revenues to be approximately $139 million, and based on what we know today, we are also updating our 2021 annual net revenue guidance to $1.825 billion to $1.925 billion. And they intend to update us about their... Uh, Operating income and adjusted EBITDA on the third quarter earnings release, which I will definitely be tuning into on the 2nd of November. So, we're getting a downgrade. I think this top end of their revenue guidance here, I'm pretty sure that is still within their original guidance because I think they were, they were doing something between $1.9 billion to $2.1. I think that, that was their original revenue guidance. So, they have decreased it, you know, about 200 odd million either side. Um, look, the way I see this is it's 
most likely a short-term issue. And for me, I'd, de- I'd determine uh, short-term issues to be anything less than sort of one to two years. Um, look, it probably won't affect the company long-term and it'll probably lead to some pent-up demand. So, you know, if people are like holding back now because of uh, a lack of affordable GPUs, what's going to happen when GPU prices normalize? You know, there's going to be a big pent-up demand for uh, Corsair products. So this might, you know, it might slow down growth now, but, in, you know, we might be pushing some of this growth out into the future now. So we might reap the rewards of this later. Um, so, yeah, overall, I think, like, this is going to hurt short uh, Corsair. You know, in, who, who knows how long this is going to last? So I, I can't tell you exactly how long these are. Uh, logistical issues are going to last but i do know that they won't last forever and with corsair trading at you know around about a 15 uh, pe uh, based on the facts that i think they're gonna grow quite nicely over the next five years uh, with with the industry growing really strongly uh, and corsair being one of the leaders in in the industry so guys thanks for watching make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel and have a good one see ya